Now we are going to try to understand elasticity in terms of interatomic forces. A solid has got atoms and there is interatomic forces. There are interatomic forces and we are going to try to understand elasticity based on this. These atoms in a solid, they want to remain at a particular separation that we call it normal separation or equilibrium separation. So these two atoms, they want to remain at a distance or not. When we apply a tensile force, these atoms are pulled apart. The atoms don't like that. So now the force between them becomes attractive. And this attractive force tends to bring the atoms to this normal or equilibrium separation. Right? When we apply a compressive force, the atoms are pulled closer. Atoms also don't like that. So now the interatomic force becomes repulsive. And again they want to come to their equilibrium separation or normal separation. Because of this you got elasticity, right? If you make a graph of potential energy versus R, at that separation R0, potential energy is minimum. When the atoms are far apart, the interatomic force is attractive. When the atoms are closer, the interatomic force is repulsive. The atoms always want to remain in this R0 separation. Right? If you look at the interatomic forces, at this equilibrium separation, the interatomic forces is zero. Here the force becomes zero. And when the separation is more than R0, the interatomic force is attractive. When the separation is less than R0, the interatomic force is repulsive. And that is why the atoms always want to occupy, want to occupy positions corresponding to R equal to R0. And that is why we have elasticity. We can also understand elasticity in terms of spring ball model of a solid. Spring ball model. We can imagine the atoms are solid spheres or point masses connected to each other by springs. The springs represent interatomic forces. So at normal separation, the spring is at its natural length. Right? If a tensile force increases the length of the spring, that is basically the spring is getting extended. Now the force will be attractive. And these atoms will come back to this position. If we compress this spring, that means we bring the atoms closer. Then the interatomic forces, the spring forces as you are imagining it, them to be, will be repulsive. So they will come back to this position again. So we can imagine that the atoms are connected to each other by springs in 3D space. We have simplified the understanding, but in 3D space they are connected to each other by springs. You pull them apart, the spring force is attractive. That signifies that the interatomic force is attractive. If you push them closer, the spring force is repulsive. That is the interatomic force is repulsive. So we can understand this elastic behavior in terms of spring ball model of a solid.